Hello, Assalamualaikum. I'm Sajid. I'm back with you with an other video. So, <clears throat> guys, today our topic is Java class attributes. So, uh, this is again related to object oriented programming, and um, I would recommend you to. Uh, watch my previous videos on this uh, object or engine programming so that this video is going to be very like uh, understandable for you okay guys in the previous chapter we use the term variable for x see here uh, a code snippet where we have public class main and two integers variables define it so in our previous uh, videos we use the term variable for these <coughs> excuse me but just to make things it keeps things simple but in this video we will tell you actually what they are so actually these are attributes of the class or you can say that class attributes are variables within a class right so these are the attributes of the class and other term which is like more commonly used is called fields these are fields of the class okay so uh, clear so now we move to next part of our chapter so now the thing is although we define these fields or variables or attributes so what's the use of them how to access them so in our previous video we have seen that we can make object of the class and access the variables access the variable uh, with my object dot the attribute name so this is how it works so but we didn't see if we could modify those attributes so here in this example we have one integer x which is not which doesn't have any value as of now but when we make object my object of this class and assign a value of 40 to this um, attribute and print it out it has a value so let's look at this example so uh, let's suppose I assign is 999 and run the code okay so this is how it works okay gentlemen and gents ladies so uh, next go to next section okay or override existing values for example in our last example we don't have any value uh, to initialize this field but now what we're gonna do we have already initialized this uh, field or attribute or uh, parameter x is equal to 10 right now what we're gonna do we are going to change the value to another number for example in this uh, example code we have we are changing it to 25 and then print it out okay guys let's do it in here maybe i can put make it make it a double i print one time before signing the value and one time after modifying the value so that you can see the difference and I maybe I can assign value 125 right okay run the code it's executing compiling hmm <coughs> see here initial value is 10 and after that we have the value 125 okay <clears throat> so now we have learned how to override existing value and also we have seen how to access or modify uh, 
an attribute so we move forward if you don't want the ability this is important if you don't want the ability to override existing value describe declare the attribute as final so final is a keyword in java when some value when some um, key, uh, final keyword is used it means you want it to have a fixed number same value always unchangeable right okay <coughs> So here we have example where final value is 10 and when here we will try to change the value to 25 it will generate error. So let's look at it. Okay, let's suppose I run it again so that you can see what's going to happen. Okay, java.main <coughs> main.java line number 6 error cannot assign a value to a final variable x so here is the problem my object dot x is equal to 25 will generate an error this line has an issue so we are trying to assign a number to final so if i remove this final for a second and now run it see now it is changed okay and then we have multiple objects so this is quite uh, interesting we have seen we could have multiple objects so here let's look at it in a little bit more detail so if you create multiple objects of one class you can change the attribute value in one object yeah this is very 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 important without affecting the attribute value in the other so now this gives you uh, you can say here you can imagine two different objects are totally different because the attribute values in two objects can be different you can change attribute values in one um, <coughs> object and keep them same in other object or do some different operation on them so this is totally possible so here in this uh, code example what we have we have an integer 5 we have two main object uh, two objects object my object 1 my object 2 okay guys and in second object we are changing the value to 25 and then we print both values so what's gonna happen so what's happening we are running the code when we run the code, what's happen is we have 5 and 25. Okay, guys, it means the value of x changes to 25 in my object 2 only, while in first object it remains same. This is extremely, extremely important. You need to focus on this point, try to fully understand this concept do some experiments with it <coughs> excuse me so this is you can say uh, lifeline of object oriented programming you need to fully fully understanding this okay multiple attributes so by now in our examples here we have been like seeing that there was just one variable there but now we have multiple variables oh my god so here we have public class main string final name full name or first name sorry and last name and age is 24 so we define variable my object my object main system dot out dot print line name is equal to my object dot first name plus my object dot last name and then age is my object dot age okay guys so maybe i change the age to okay 44 okay so that you can see some difference okay let's run the code <coughs> so we have john doe 
and age is 44 so now you can see we can have multiple attributes inside the class of uh, inside the class and those attributes can be used in object and can have different values in different objects so uh, I hope uh, here we close over uh, today's chapter uh, and class I hope this been informative for you you did learn some new concepts and uh, please uh, share this video with other friends colleagues if you have not done already and do subscribe to my channel uh, uh, so that you can uh, receive new more videos if you have any question or query you can type in the comment section below right so I'll be back with another video very soon and uh, do tell me if you are liking the videos or not if you are understanding the concepts or not so and give your feedback so that if uh, I could improve them further or uh, right so I'll be uh, I'm really eagerly waiting for your feedback so do come back and give your comments take care bye bye I'll be back inshallah Allah Hafiz